so this is the water spigot earlier like I said I took the screws out um, and then prefabbed a water spigot so that it would go in there now sometimes you want to know your length and in that case you're not going to be able to prefab it and you can get a real close idea being that this is not a brick house it's going to have roughly an 8 or a 10 um, this is an 8 sometimes you can tell by your hands there's one and two so you're going to call that an eight the one i'm putting in is a ten so i'm going to go ahead and uh, do some more prefabbing out here by cutting the length so that's as close as possible and then i might even solder on the coupling If you're worried about your cut, just cut long so that you don't have to make two of them. Uh, when you solder your coupling on, you got to be careful not to get solder in the other side because obviously you want that coupling to slip on to your existing pipe in the house. Scratch that up. My coupling is new. I'm not even going to worry about it. it. Looks clean as can be. I'm gonna get some uh, flux on the pipe. I don't have my brush. I'm just going to rotate it in there. And then I'm gonna, I got a little bit extra, but I'm going to push. I don't. I'm trying not to get it on my hands. I hate flux. got it nice and spread around if you want you can stick it back in the stick it back in your uh, flux a couple times do the old job 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 program and then I'm gonna do some uh, soldering I'm gonna try to tilt it at an angle so that if any solder does go inside the pipe it goes back down inside here and not into my coupling Inside the solder again. That earth flux, that also clean the other side. And it's nice because as I look inside that pipe, even with it at an angle, you can, if I can get this to work right for us, you can see the solder in there went all the way around. So we're in good shape. And we didn't get any on this side of our cup. Blow inside that hole so I don't get no junk on my clean fitting. I hope that I can push it in there and not have to deal with that. Okay, so I'm not going to screw it down yet because I need to get inside and connect it before I screw it down. But on the bottom side of the Woodfords, there's a black dot which will tell you where straight down is. That way you don't have no questions, you don't have to run outside. I've had them be off a little bit, so it doesn't hurt to go ahead and look at it before you put it in there. But uh, that does this part out here.